In the nearest hospital, he refused. He insisted I bring him here. Heart rate 62. Blood pressure. He fought me every step of the way. Bro. Blood pressure 90 over 60. I will, Edmund. I'll find her. I promise. Edmund, you're in the hospital. We're gonna take good care of you. Okay? I'm gonna make sure Brooke is okay. Oh, thank God you're here. Listen. I want you to do me a big favor. I want you to get out of the APB on Jim Thomas right now. For what? It's too long a story. Just do it. Take the brook, too. Tan, I can't just do listen it on your side. Listen to me. Listen to me, okay? He kidnapped that when he tried to kill him. Say what? It's not a joke. I was there. I saw it. Now, Brooke is out there all alone. If Thomas can find her, he's going to kill her unless we find him first. Jim. Bad shape, but he's alive. He's going to be okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh. Brooke, are you all right? Did, did Thomason hurt you? Laura was 15 years old when he took those pictures. She was this frightened little girl, this frightened child. Look what he did to her. He almost destroyed her soul. He didn't 
care. He didn't care about her. He didn't care about Mateo. Maria, he took this beautiful child and he made her feel worthless and dirty. And it meant nothing to him. Brooke, was he armed? You know, he admitted everything to me, everything. About Maria and the crash and about Haley and Mateo and poisoning them. He was proud of his crimes. He was proud. He felt superior to the people that he hurt, that he killed. Laura's mother, he murdered her. He set a fire to cover it. He destroyed her, and then he took away the one thing that she needed most in life. He was so smug. He was so smug. He had it all planned. He had been embezzling money from Temple for months. He had it planned how he was going to get away with everything. And he would have done it again. He was going after my son. And I wasn't going to let him hurt any more children ever again, Dimitri. I could not let him walk out that door. So, so you shot him. And then he turned around and I shot him again and again and again. Broke, broke. The, the first time. I told he... you he was leaving. He was leaving. He was going after my son. How did I love that man? How did I love him? He had no soul. There was nothing in his eyes. Thank God you're all, you're all right. I'm just glad it's over now. All right, all right. It'll be over when you give me the gun. check out. Pretty amazing. <laughs> Good, I can leave. Mm, what, are you sick of us already? Uh, no offense. Okay. Let Dr. Jake do his thing. Oh, okay, but I, I, mm. I, I want to go. Not so fast, Hot Shot. Yeah, you just came back to us. You need to get some rest. I've rested for weeks. <laughs> some would argue otherwise. You broke the coma mold, Mateo. When you first slipped into a coma, we noticed some unusual brain activity. So? So, I'd like to know where that came from. What was going on? Yeah, what weird movie was playing in your head? Your respiration went wild, your heart rate went through the roof. What was up? I mean, do you remember anything? You know, you called Brooke's name. Yeah, that was right before, right before you came out of it. Were you dreaming of Brooke? I don't know. I, I can't remember anything. Uh, you know what, I better call Neuro. No, come just... on. He's better. What else yeah, matters? I'm... My opinion, exactly, for now. But we need to order another round of tests for him, so... Hi. <laughs> Welcome back, son. Thanks. You're the best news I've had in a long while. How's he doing? We're still at it. Mm -hmm. When can I go? <laughs> I'd say he's feeling better. <laughs> yeah. Perfectly normal response to being here, I I'd say. I, I've missed the whole season. No, you didn't miss anything. Believe me, this whole El Nino thing, everything was wet and weird. I'm, I'm just sick of rest. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we do need you to undergo a few more tests. Mm -hmm. I, I feel fine, Doc. I know, I know. And, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a rush on them so we'll get your results back before you know it. We're still in uncharted waters here, pal. Yeah. We just want to make sure that those uh, unusual reactions you were having don't indicate any kind of problem. Joe's right, sweetie. Not going to be much longer. Listen, I'm going to stay right here until they spring you. I know that look, but from now on, we do it by the book, okay? How's Brooke? Did you find her? Yes, yes she's fine. We're here at Stewart's Gallery. How's Edmund? Uh, I don't know. The 
They're still examining him. They haven't said too much. Where's Thomas? Taken care of. Taken care of? What's that supposed to mean? I've told you all you need to know, Dad. You haven't told me anything. What happened? Did he hurt Brooke or not? Dimitri. Dimitri. How is Edmund? Still being evaluated. What are you doing? Did anyone see you here? No. How about when you came in? How about on the street? No, it was empty. No one looked in and saw you and Thomason together? No, we were completely alone. Are you sure? Yes. Good. Listen, Dimitri, when I left that message, I didn't know if you were dead or alive. I, I sent Laura and, and Phoebe away. I... Yeah, and no one else knew that you came here? No. I'm going to erase the messages as soon as I get back to the loft. Why? What are you no, doing no, with Brooke, the pictures? Brooke, Brooke, go home. I don't want you to think about this. I don't want you to speak about this. Not to Phoebe, not to anyone. Dimitri, I killed a man. No one saw it. No one heard it. Without a body, nobody can prove it. Jim Thomason will simply have disappeared without a trace.